ADB has been supporting Bangladesh in managing the emergency humanitarian situation after displaced persons from Myanmar took shelter in Cox's Bazar camps in 2017. The influx of displaced persons from Myanmar put tremendous pressure on the local service delivery system and infrastructure. To support the government's efforts in managing the emergency situation, ADB approved $100 million in grant in 2018. The assistance was for developing basic infrastructure and services for the displaced persons sheltered in 34 camps in Ukia and Teknaf, as well as the host communities. The assistance improved water and sanitation, disaster risk mitigation, energy supply and road access to and within the camps. 10 school cum cyclone shelters and 11 kilometers storm water drainage networks. Four food distribution centers were constructed and put to service. 400 lightning arresters were installed to save people from lightning. 40 service water-based piped water supply systems, 500 solar-powered community bathing facilities with running water, 3 small surface water treatment plants, 5 integrated waste management facilities and a collection system have been completed. 7 mobile water carriers of 3000 litre capacity each have been put in service. Under the energy component, 2,000 standalone solar streetlights, 2,000 mini-grid powered streetlights and 100 solar nano-grid for household lighting have been installed. A 33 by 11 kV power substation and 50 km power distribution lines were constructed too. A 50 km road from Ukhia to Teknaf has been completed under the road component. I'm very pleased to see that 90% uh, of our project has been completed, uh, including a number of innovative elements, uh, as well as to continue with uh, water supply and management. And also we will uh, develop another road uh, to help the communities and as well as the, uh, the camp in, in Tecna. The project is promoting innovation, including creating sources for surface water. A unique innovation introduced under the project is an energy-neutral new technology called Omni Processor, which will manage solid waste to create fertilizer, power and drinkable water. We are continuing our support. We are embarking into the phase two now and where we will be going into the health and uh, public health COVID-19 response component as well, where we will develop the better health system, the, we'll improve the primary health center, we'll improve the community health center, and uh, we'll also train the population. ADB will continue to work with the government of Bangladesh and the global community until the sheltered people are repatriated to their homes in a respectful, dignified, and sustainable manner.